Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this very exciting and challenging video of radical equations, we have fifth root of x power 10 minus 33 equal to x square minus 3. We have to calculate real solutions. So let's get started by writing our equation in this manner. Fifth root of x power. Can we write 10 as 2 times 5? And then minus 33 equal to x square minus 3. Now I know the property of exponentials. It is a power b times c. Any time we can write a power b whole power c. Let's apply here. So I will write our equation fifth root of. It will become x power 2 whole power 5 minus 33. And right hand side is x square minus 3. Now it's substitution time. Let x square equal to a. So I can write our equation fifth root of a power 5 minus 33 equal to a minus 3. Now I will take minus co common from this radicant. So I can write it is minus times so minus raised to the power odd it will be minus outside that value will be negative. So I can write this is equal to fifth root of 33 minus a power 5 equal to a minus 3 because of this is odd power. Now I will take this minus fifth root to the RHS and then I will take minus 3 to the LHS. So I can write our equation will become a plus fifth root of 33 minus a power 5. Let us write a plus fifth root of 33 minus a power 5 equal to 3. Now this is general equation conventional 1. Now I will use substitution. Let us call this is equal to b power 5. Let me write here 33 minus a power 5 equal to b power 5 or I can write a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 33. This is one equation and second will come from here. I will write a plus fifth root of b power 5 equal to 3. Now we can cancel power and fifth root a plus b equal to 3. This is our second equation. So one system of equations we have. Let me write here equation 1. a plus b equal to 3. And second equation of this system a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 33. Let's solve. So I will consider squaring and cubing of first equation to collect a power 5 plus b power 5 value. So I will write here a plus b equal to 3 squaring cubing. Squaring and let me write here cubing. Okay, so I will write a square plus b square plus 2ab equal to 9. Now cubing if I will consider then I will be writing a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b. So let me write 3 or let me write a plus b once equal to 3 cube 27. Done. Let us consider here one substitution. Let a b equal to t. So here I will be writing t and here I will be writing t. This value is as per equation it is 3. So I will write our equation once again. So I will be writing a square plus b square plus 
टू टी और आई कैन राइट नाइन माइनस टू टी एंड दिस इक्वेशन आई कैन राइट ए क्यू प्लस पी क्यू प्लस थ्री टाइम्स थ्री इज नाइन टी इक्वल टू थ्री क्यू विच इज ट्वेंटी सेवन सो फ्रॉम हेयर वी आर हैविंग ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर नाइन माइनस टू टी एज इट इज एंड फ्रॉम हेयर आई कैन राइट ए क्यू प्लस बी क्यू which is equal to 27 minus 90 and i will take only 3 common from here so 9 minus 3t this is our a cube plus b cube let us multiply these two equations so i will write here a square plus b square then i will be writing a cube plus b cube then i will be writing rhs of both 9 minus 2t and then here i will write 3 times 9 minus 3t let's multiply so a square times a cube a power 5 b square times b cube b power 5 now cross product a square with b cube and b square with a cube so it will become a square b cube plus a cube base b square so i will take a square b square common so in bracket a plus b rhs will be 3 times 9 minus 2t 9 minus 3t now a plus b is 3 here it is on the top and a square b square if ab is t that a square b square will be t square a power 5 plus b power 5 equation number 2 this value is 33 let me write here 33 plus 3t square a plus b is 3 equal to 3 times 9 minus 2t 9 minus 3t now our equation is divisible by 3 let's divide so i'll be writing 11 plus t square equal to 9 minus 2t 9 minus 3t so i will write 11 plus t square equal to 9 minus 2t and 9 minus 3t in the product form let simplify rhs so 9 times 9 81 minus 27 plus 18 45t plus 60 t square left hand side is 11 plus t square take all the term to rhs so 5t square minus 45t plus 70 equal to 0 equation is divisible by 5 so i will divide by 5 t square minus 90 plus 14 equal to 0 let's factorize i will write t square minus 70 minus 2t product is plus 14 equal to 0 from here t is common so t in bracket t minus 7 from here minus 2 is common in bracket t minus 7 equal to 0 so t minus 7 times t minus 2 equal to 0 conclusion is t minus 7 will be 0 t minus 2 will be 0 that means t is equal to either 2 or 7 let us check or both So t is equal to two comma seven. What was t? T was our substitution a b. Let me write here a b equal to two seven. If you remember our equation one, it was a plus b equal to three. Now I will frame two systems from here. One with a b two, another with a b seven, and this equation is common. so let me write a plus b equal to 3 and ab equal to 2 first system 
second system a plus b equal to 3 and a b equal to 7. Let's solve one by one. Now I will write first system. You can see if one quadratic is there whose roots are a and b, then it is sum of roots and product of roots. Sum of roots 3, product of roots 2. Let me frame one quadratic in a itself. a square minus sum of roots 3a plus product of roots 2 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula quickly. Minus b, so minus of minus 3 plus 3. b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So 3 plus minus 1 over 2 with plus sign 4 over 2 so 2 with minus sign 2 over 2 so 1. So we have got two values of a from the first system. Now second system I will write one quadratic a square minus sum of roots 3a plus product of roots 7 equal to 0. Let's check discriminant this time delta b square minus 4ac. So minus 3 square minus 4 times 1 times 7. It is 9 minus 28 which is equal to minus 19. Since discriminant is negative so complex solutions will generate. We will reject this. Rejected as we are calculating real solutions. Now a is equal to 2 and a is equal to 1. a was our substitution. Let me write here. a is equal to x square 1 and 2. Consider a square root both sides. We will get our solutions. So x will be equal to plus minus 1 plus minus root 2. This is our final answer. Let us cross examine, cross verify. So I will write verification. Let me consider the first set plus minus 1. Why I am taking all together? Because powers are even. So squaring will give us only plus. Let me write here LHS. I will write fifth root of x power 10. So it will be always 1 minus 33 equal to plus or minus 1 power 2 always 1 minus 3. So this is minus 32 fifth root equal to minus 2. So I can write this is minus 2 whole power 5 with fifth root. Now fifth root and power 5 will be over equal to minus 2 equal to RHS minus 2. That means this is true. Second solution x is equal to plus minus root 2. Second set of solution it is basically because there are two values. Fifth root of x power 10. So this time I will write, let me write here plus minus root 2 whole power 10 minus 33. RHS will be x square. So this time I can write 2 minus 3 because root 2 square is 2 and plus or minus whole square will give us only plus. So this side is negative 1. What about this side if I will simplify then this is 32. 2 power 5 is 32. So I will be writing here fifth root of 32 minus 33 which is equal to fifth root of minus 1. And where I can write fifth root of minus 1 raised to the power 5. Now power 5 and fifth root will be over so minus 1. LHS equal to RHS. That means this is also verified. So our final solutions are x is equal to plus minus 1 and x is equal to plus minus root 2. And this brings the end of this video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe friends. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.